Coronavirus pandemic, the number of cases and deaths climbs again here in Maryland. But could we see the peak in less than two weeks? Hello, everyone. I'm Vic Carter. Governor Hogan says all the steps taken in the last month appear to be flattening the curve of the pandemic. But now is not the time to ease social distancing and other proactive measures. WJC's live with extensive coverage. We begin with investigator Mike Helgren with all the latest developments. Mike. Vic, we're here at the Baltimore City Convention Center, and the governor got a look at a surge hospital that was set up here ahead of schedule. He says he's hopeful for a best-case scenario. As you can see, they're all the same. There's, mm -hmm. another, there's another one, same, same configuration. Governor Larry Hogan toured the emergency field hospital at the Baltimore Convention uh, yep, Center that can handle 250 coronavirus around. patients. That's right. Yep. Yeah, plenty Good of room. access to the patient, a yep. little privacy. Yep. And announced exactly. new initiatives, including a first in the nation strike force to handle the clusters of cases now in at least 90 nursing homes statewide, providing emergency help to those facilities. Maryland's worst outbreak at Pleasant View Nursing Home in Mount Airy has killed at least 14 patients. The goal here is not to replace the nursing home's medical and clinical team, but to provide immediate support and assistance to help protect residents of these facilities. The governor also announced the White House has designated Maryland a hot spot to provide priority help here, and FEMA has given the state 200 ventilators. So I have been sounding the alarm with the president, the vice president, members of the president's task force, including Dr. Fauci. A new executive order allows local health departments to shut down businesses that are not complying with social distancing guidelines. This new order also empowers state and local law enforcement agencies to assist uh, local health officers in the enforcement of this order. Maryland now has 4,371 coronavirus cases, 326 more than the day before. While the rise is significant, there were fewer new cases reported today than yesterday. Maryland now has 103 deaths, an increase of 12 since yesterday, and 288 people have recovered, an increase of 104 since yesterday. We are hopeful that the peak day of our epidemic in Maryland is sometime soon given how early and aggressive the social distancing measures were put in place. One model that the White House uses has our peak occurring about 10 days from now. The governor also said he's committed to providing help to Baltimore City, including to the police department where there have been several confirmed cases. He will also now provide racial and demographic data for the cases and deaths around the state. Reporting live at the City Convention Center, Mike Helgren, WJZ. Mike, thank you. Well, just a short time ago, Mayor Jack Young updated the situation here in Baltimore City. Since Friday, April the 3rd, we have seen a 47% increase in confirmed COVID-19 cases here in Baltimore City. As of this morning, the city has 459 reported cases, 211 people hospitalized with COVID-19, and nine deaths. We remain committed to scaling up our response to this emergency while continuing to leverage the wealth of medical and public health expertise here in Baltimore City. Twelve members of the city police department have tested positive for coronavirus. In addition to all the police officers, the city fire chief announced that all members of the city fire department will wear a mask while in public to prevent the spread and exposure to coronavirus.